Today, we are making pumpkin cheesecake. It's just that perfect recipe for all. Pumpkin cheesecake is so delicious. You're going to love it. Can't wait for you to try it. Hi, beautiful friends. How are you? I'm Samantha, your baking bestie. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. All right, first let's measure out our butter. In a separate bowl, measure out the graham cracker crumbs and the brown sugar. Go ahead and melt your butter. And then you're gonna add it to this mixture. And with a fork, mix it up until combined. This is going to be the crust for your cheesecake. I'm going to be using three 4-inch springform pans that I got from Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. Make sure you pat down the crust very nicely. We're going to put this in the oven at 325 for 10 minutes. In the bowl of your stand mixer, you're going to measure out your room temperature cream cheese. In a separate bowl, measure out your granulated sugar, some salt, and some cinnamon. Crack your egg. In a separate bowl, measure out your pumpkin puree and your sour cream. Measure out your cream and add this to your pumpkin mixture. Using a paddle attachment, you're going to whip up your cream cheese until it's nice and fluffy. Add your sugar mixture and let this fluff up together. Between each addition, make sure you grab a spatula, bring your bowl down, and grab everything that's underneath. You just want to make sure everything is incorporated. Add your egg and just let that combine really quickly. Stop and scrape. Add your pumpkin mixture and let this combine just a little bit. This ensures that the cream cheese batter does not get overworked. You do not want your cream cheese to get overworked. That's what gives you cracks. That's what. Just not what we want. 
Now you're going to add this batter to your already cooled crusts. I'm going to wrap the base of them in tin foil because I'm going to put them in a slight water bath and I don't want the water leaking into the cheesecake. I'm just adding some already boiled water to the bottom of my pan and this is just going to ensure you get steam in the oven. Now I bake this at 325 for 40 minutes, let it cool down, wrapped it up and left it in the fridge overnight. I did not record it, but I did make some chantilly cream, which is just another fancy way of saying whipped cream. And voila! Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.